Hello everybody and welcome to Uprising 144K. Um, hydrogen and okay guys. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to make hydrogen raisins. Now first, I must say, I like organic raisins. I like them to be sun-dried. That's what I personally prefer. But before I really show you guys how to do that, let me just tell you some of the benefits of raisins. You know, they, they do give you a really good natural energy from the natural sugars within them. I definitely prefer getting my sugars from like fruits, and you know, like such as raisins because I like them in the more natural form. Another thing that raisins actually really have are a lot of good vitamins and minerals, you know, things like iron, potassium, calcium, vitamin B, vitamin C, boron, you know, all sorts of really great things. They also have other benefits, things like they help regulate like blood sugar, they can aid in digestion, they're good for weight loss, they can even help your, your immune system, they can increase bone strength, which is actually really, really great. And they can even prevent bad breath, which is kind of interesting, and even help prevent anemia. So here's the thing, guys. Those are the benefits, right? But the big thing is, if you soak them in water, it actually can enhance a lot of these benefits. So for example, when you soak them in water, a lot of the, like the vitamins and minerals that are on the skin of the raisin will actually get dissolved into the water. And so the amount of the nutrients that will actually be absorbed by your body can actually increase. So that's really great. And even when you soak them in water, apparently it can even enhance the antioxidant content in these raisins, which is also really great. But check it out, guys. When you put hydrogen water in there, I really believe it's just gonna enhance all the things that I already said. So here we go, guys. Let me just show you how to do that. Typically what I do is I put about this many raisins. These have been soaking for one day, so they're a little more plump. And then I put some hydrogen water to about right here. Today is the second day, so it's soaked up a lot of this. And then what I do on the second day, and before I even do it, sometimes I even put some minerals. I like these minerals. Or sometimes I'll use the Soleil. This is something I made, and I put some Soleil in here just because sometimes a lot of the foods these days are kind of deficient in minerals so I'll do something like that sometimes and ultimately I use the water and the raisins and I put a lot of them in my smoothies because it helps them be sweeter like it makes my smoothie taste ultimately better without having to add something that is not good for you so typically what I do is I just get some hydrogen water like this on the second day and then I'll pour about this much and then what I'll do is I'll take this jar and I'll put this in the refrigerator. Now, I must say for people who watch my videos, just those who sometimes have uh, different ways of making their hydrogen water, this won't necessarily work with all the types of hydrogen water that you make. And it's really important to note that because there's some machines that will literally tell you something like, do not eat when drinking their hydrogen water. And that's because it's really made incorrectly and kind of unsafely actually, to be honest. And so, with this, with the way that I make it, it's completely safe. You can totally eat if, and drink this water if you wanted to because it doesn't change the pH, which is really what you actually want. Hydrogen will not change the pH of your water. So if made correctly, it should be completely pH neutral. But you can see the color of the water. It's gonna be a little darker. And like I said, I add some of that to the smoothie. And also the reason that I like to use the hydrogen water that I'm using is because the hydrogen stays longer in the water this way as compared to like, you know, pressurized units or just other ways of making it. This is really the best way because it's gonna last a long time. And I'm gonna put this in the fridge just the way that it is. So that's pretty much it, guys. The only thing I, will, I would say is, again, when you soak the raisins, it really enhances a lot of their properties. And one of the other things that I even like is that it will bring water, it's about hydration, guys, really. This will bring more water to your colon as compared to if you'd have dry raisins, it'll draw water out of your colon, which you really don't want. So it really is best to soak them like this. And so I hope that you guys kind of found the video helpful. And you can maybe use, you know, this in all sorts of other ways too, whether you want to put it on oatmeal or cereal or in your smoothies also or whatever that you might want to make more sweet. So that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you found the video helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and like. And I'll see you guys next time on the next video.